Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In today's video, we will talk about the mode of ungrouped data. So, this is the last part ng video natin with regards to finding the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. So, kung gusto mong matutunan yung mga nauna nating video, like the mean and median, ilalagay ko yung ating link sa ating description box and sana makonsider mo itong panoorin para hindi ka mawala sa track ng pag-aaral ng measures of central tendency. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na din yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Dorn. Let's do this topic. So, basically guys, Again, mode is one of the measures under central tendency. At ang target nila is to calculate for the center of a given data set. So let's have the mode. The mode is the measure or value which occurs most frequently in a set of data. Again, one of the measures na kung saan malalaman mo mode ng isang given set of data kapag siya yung pinakamaraming beses na nagpapakita sa data set mo. So actually guys, there are different types of mode. And later on, we will demonstrate ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng mga ito. Number one, we have the unimodal. Number two, we have the bimodal. And number three, we have the multimodal. Pag sinabi natin multi eh, uni unimodal, ang ibig sabihin nito, may nag-iisang mode ka lang. Again, one mode. Kapag naman bimodal, from the, from the um, affix, which is by meaning two ang mode na meron ka. And kapag naman multimodal, pag sinabi natin multimodal, ibig sabihin yan, uh, the mode of your given data set is more than two. So for you to understand well, we have this example. We need to find the mode of this given data set. For the first one, we have three, five, two, one, and two. Again, three, five, two, one, and two. So yung ibang gumagawa nito, yung ibang gumagawa na ito activity, they are arranging the, the values of your data set. But in our case, since konti lang naman to, di ba sabi naman dito, find the mode. The mode is the measure of the value which occurs most frequently. So dito, hanapin mo lang, aling value sa given data set ang lag, mas maraming beses nagpapakita. So you have three. Ones lang siya, di ba? Five, ones, two, and two. Dalawang beses siya nagpakita. And one, ones lang din siya. Meaning, the mode of this given data set is equal to 2. Kasi siya yung mas maraming beses sa nagpapakita. And if tinanong ka, anong type ng mode ang meron ka, you will answer unimodal. Kasi meron lang tayong iisang mode sa data set natin sa 3, 5, 2, 1, and 2. Again, the mode is equal to 2 and the type of mode is unimodal. And let's move on with number two. For number two, we have the numbers or the given data set with the elements of 7, 6, 6, 8, 9, and 8. Again, 7, 6, 6, 8, 9, and 8. So, isipin mo ngayon, sir, parang nakikita ko ngayon na marami na yung, ano, yung number na dalawang beses na papakita. So, let's have this one. 7, 6, 6, 8, 9, and 8. So, isipin mo ngayon, sir, we have the 6 and we have the 8. Dalawang beses na napakita. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? Ang ibig sabihin po niyan, your mode are 6 and 8. Kasi dalawang beses sila, sila, yung, ano, sila yung element na parehas ng dalawang beses na papakita. So, we have the mode as 6 and 8. And anong type naman po ng mode na meron tayo? The mode is, or your type of mode is bimodal. Because meron tayong dalawang mode. Ayun na yung pinakalison natin. And let's move on with number 3. For number 3, we have 11, 8, 9, 10, 10, 8, 9. 11, 8, 9, 10, 10, 8, 9. Yung 8 natin, twice siya nagpakita. Yung 10 natin, it occurs dalawang beses din. Same with number 9 dalawang beses din siya. So, sir, ang ibig sabihin po niyan, ang ibig sabihin po niyan that your mode, dito na tayo, your mode, 
your mode are equal to 8, 9, and 10. So, kasi tatlong, ano, silang tatlo, silang tatlong elements, silang mga elements sa tatlong beses or sa limit pinakamaraming beses na papakita. So, we have the mode of 8, 9, and 10. Tapos yung ating type of mode is multimodal. Now, para mas maintindihan niyo yung mismong examples natin on how to calculate or how to find the mode, di ba, hindi naman talaga literally kailangan mag-calculate. All you need to do is to observe the given data set and alamin mo kung anong mas maraming papakita. So, in our next part of our video, I'll be giving you more examples wherein you will encounter different given data set para mas maintindihan mo what is meant by the mode of ungrouped data. Now, we have here Two more examples para mas maintindihan natin how to find the mode of ungrouped data. Let's start with number four. The sizes of nine classes in a certain school. Ito yung data natin. Ito daw yung sizes or yung parang population ng siyam na section sa isang school. So we have 60, 58, 52, 65, 68, 60, 57, and 60. Given this data set, we have nine elements or 9 classes. So, paano natin nahanapin yung mode natin? Piliin nyo lang dito yung pinakamaraming beses na nagpapakita. You have 60, 60, and 60. Try siya nagpakita or siya yung pinakamaraming beses na nagpakita compared sa other elements. Therefore, your mode is equal to 60. As eh, sir, try po siya nagpakita. Ibig sabihin po ba, multimodal po yun. Hindi po. Since nag-iisa lang yung ating mode, which is 60, your mode is unimodal. Okay? So let's move on with the next example. The following data shows the height of, in centimeters of 10 students. Kanina, ito yung population ng mga sections na mayroon sa isang school. Ito naman, these are the heights of 10 students in centimeters. So we have 160. 154, 156, 160, 170, 159, 155, 145, 160, and 167 as the height of 10 students. Sir, paano ngayon yung mode natin? Hanapin nyo dito yung maraming best to papakita and there's 160, 160, and 160. How about the other? Wala nang iba. So our mode here is equal to 160. At kahit tatlong beses siya, siya nag-appear sa ating given data set, still, yung mode natin na iisa lang, which is 160, this one is also unimodal. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung examples natin when it comes to identifying the mode of ungrouped data. So, I hope na mapanood niyo yung mga previous videos natin with regards to the mean, median, and mode. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!